do not go to college just to please other people. Do you really love it or are you just doing it because your parents say so? That rejection we face is actually redirection. Google is free. Google is free. Google is free. 99. Google is free. Okay. <clears throat> that a two. Hey loves, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna talk about how you can escape your toxic JW environment because girl, it is time for you to get the life that you deserve. You, yes you, I'm talking to you. This is part one of how to escape your toxic JW home. These are just a few ideas I brainstormed that could possibly be an option for you to escape your home and to do it smartly. Just don't jump into this. You really wanna plan and you wanna think ahead you want to just start thinking wisely and start thinking like an adult even if you're still a teenager this is your time where you're gonna have to do some uncomfortable things to get out of an uncomfortable situation would you rather suffer in the home you're in day in day out in toxicity or suffer trying to get out and put the work in and thug it out and actually get to the other side of your happiness in your dream life I'm already struggling so I'm a struggle trying okay I'm a struggle working hard for what I want at the end of the day being in a toxic situation and being broke is hard trying Trying to get out of that is hard. Trying to be successful is hard. Trying to be rich is hard. But being depressed in a toxic JW situation is harder. That's worse. Both of it is gonna be hard, but this one is gonna be harder. Okay, all right, let's get into it. This is a time where you really need to think about your life, think about your future and ask yourself, is the life that you have today, the life that you're living today, is it a life that you love? Yes or no? And if not, it is your job to create the life that you want and the life that you love. You have to be creative creative and you have to start brainstorming like crazy it is not going to fall into your lap you have to do research in the meantime i have some options you can consider to get you out of your situation starting with number one move out this is obviously way easier said than done trust me i know how stressful and how difficult it can be to move out but i promise you you have the power and strength within you to figure it out and to get out it's going to take some time it's going to take some trial and error Error, but at the end of the day if you have a goal that you want to accomplish you will get there it doesn't matter about the in-between it matters about your mindset and your beliefs and you have to believe in yourself start to make a plan create the steps take action do step one then do step two I don't care if there's 50 steps 50 steps to move out okay and you start with one then you go to two then you go to three bam 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 49 50 period you have to make a plan and you have to act on the plan you cannot just live in your head or just oh, I'm just gonna write it down and hope it comes true or I'm just gonna pray about it and bam, that's it. I hope it comes. No, like you got to match your prayers. You have to match your plans with your actions. Nothing is going to happen for you if you aren't the one taking action to do it. You have to be the one to put yourself in the position for greatness. Put yourself in the position for success. Put yourself in a position where you can move out. You're the only one that knows your situation. You know what you can do. You know the options you have. So make sure you you exhaust all options if you have a friend go get an apartment with them go get a roommate now your rent is cut in half now all of your living expenses is cut in half because you have a roommate where would you like to live what type of apartment would you like to have would you prefer to rent a townhouse or rent a home or rent an apartment or rent a condo do you even have an idea of what type of house you want how would you decorate it would it have hardwood floors what would the sink look like would you live alone would you live with roommates would you live with friends would you live with family members would you live in the city would you live in the suburbs would you want a guard dog with you you need to visualize how much money do you need to make to pay off all your expenses every single month and still live below your means while on top of saving money how do you expect to get an apartment if you're not even thinking about these things you need to ask yourself the questions you need to start preparing from now the easiest way to get something in your life the easiest way to accomplish something in your life is to act as if you need to get ready stay ready so you don't ever have to get ready when you start to prepare yourself then the universe or if you believe in God is gonna be like oh okay she's serious let me start giving her the things that she wants because she's preparing herself now she's ready before she wasn't ready to get an apartment because she had no money she had no job she had no car she wasn't taking care of herself any money that she would make she spend it you need to prepare so that you can handle what's coming to you because it's one thing to ask for something but can you maintain it getting an apartment you can do that but can you maintain
mean? Can you handle keeping an apartment without getting evicted and messing up your credit? If money is your issue, that is okay. Start figuring out what side hustles can I do? What jobs can I get so I'm making enough, so I'm saving enough? Maybe you can start a lash business. Maybe you can start an eyebrow business. Maybe you can start a waxing business, a nail tech business, a car washing business, a meal prepping business where you prep meals and provide it for others. Babysitting, pet sitting. There's so many side hustles out there that can get you some quick money on the side where you don't even use that. You just save it. You just save, you just save. In order to save more money, you have to increase your income. That's really what it is. Yes, you need a budget, but if you're not making more money, you're, you're not going to make more money. money. So you want to make sure you increase your income. Be smart. If you're in survival mode, sometimes you're going to have to do things you don't want to do. Maybe you're going to have to pick up extra shifts. Maybe you're going to have to work overtime. Maybe you're going to have to work on the weekends when you already have weekends off. Maybe you may have to consider getting a second job. Like this is not for the week. So I'm going to be honest with you. Like this is not for the week. You need to put the effort in and go hard and exhaust every option. When one door doesn't open, you go to the next door. Then you go to the next door. And if that door still doesn't open, bam you go to the back door you go in the back you knock on the back you see all right can i how can i get in because guess what it's not a matter of if this will happen for you it's when so you gotta work towards it there's plenty of opportunities out there for you there's plenty of side hustles out there for you you just have to try something and see if it works throw as many things as you need to at the wall and see what sticks because the more you figure out what does and doesn't work for you is the closer you get to accomplishing your goals if you'd like me to go more into detail about side hustles and how to move out, how to make a plan to move out, how to budget and all of that, let me know in the comment section below and I'll make a video on it. You already know. Number two, my second option is college. It's probably one of the easiest ways for you to get out. If you don't decide to stay in a dorm, you can also do student housing with roommates. You can go to your office, your university, your college, whatever it is, and ask them like, hey, what are some opportunities that can get to find roommates here on campus? They have group chats where other people at your campus are looking for roommates and you can find them and you can meet up with them make sure they're trustworthy or you can ask your counselor to your college advisor hey do you think you can help me figure out how i can find roommates ask for help ask for help you are not in this alone okay that's the thing you need to get a support system you're not in this alone so make sure to ask questions ask people that you can trust ask your family members how can i do this when choosing a roommate you have to be very very picky about it but at the same time like you want to be safe you want to make sure you're putting yourself in a safe situation and not getting to something that's worse even if you don't know what you want to major in start applying to colleges from now so you have more than enough options to choose from you can even start at a community college doing pre recs until you figure out oh, okay this is actually what i want to do this is what i want to do you can figure it out along the way you are not stuck there's so many options out there for you you can do community college for two years get your associates and transfer to a university that you really really love even if you okay your scores aren't that great you can't get into the university right now how about you go to a community college complete your associate's degree it's way cheaper you can even get more scholarships that way maybe you need to prepare more a little bit you could probably stay in your parents home for about two years bam after those two years after you have your associate's degree not only do you have a set job but now you have a set job and you can go to another university a university that you really love like your very first choice just because there may be roadblocks it does not mean it is a stop sign it is not a stop sign it's not a u-turn it's just saying like hey this is a roadblock this is what you need to get over it's just a speed okay it's a little bumpy but you're gonna get over it and get to the other side remember that also going to community college it gives you time to decide if this is really what you want if this is really for you if this major do you really love it or are you just doing it because your parents say so doing two years at a community college it gives you time to save and think about where you want to go and what you want to do start looking at different universities in your areas that you're interested in or different universities that have great programs that you'd love to try out the university doesn't even have to be in your area it doesn't even have to be like an hour away three hours away it can be out of state remember the world is your oyster this is your time to look at other states even another country maybe europe london spain amsterdam like think big you can get a scholarship and go to one of those places for school the options are endless do not ever limit yourself this is a great way to explore life while still getting an education you can use scholarships and financial aid to pay for housing tuition 
food, whatever expenses you may have if you need it. Now, if you're not too woo 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 about college and college doesn't really call to you because you feel like there's something else out there for you that college won't bring you to and you're not trying to sit in college for too long, like you don't wanna do a four year, you don't wanna be in college forever, try shooting for your associate's degree. It's only two years, you can get a secure job right after making good money. Right after you graduate, you could have a great job, make enough money to not only move out, but also sustain yourself. Depending on what degree you get, you could also get an agency that will pay you to travel. They will also pay for your housing. This doesn't even include your check yet. And that's just two years. So maybe ask yourself, can I write it out for two years? Just suck it up. I'm not really into college, but I do want a job. I want to be able to sustain myself and I want to be able to move out on my own. Maybe ask yourself, can I write it out for two more years? Go to college, get an associate's degree, have my own job. I'd be set right after. This gives me time to save up money. This gives me time to grow as a person. This gives me time to be independent. Like maybe now is not your time to move out as much as you'd like to. Maybe you need some more time to grow. Consider all the possibilities. It may not be your first choice, what you really want, but sometimes we don't see behind the scenes. That rejection we face is actually redirection. We don't know what we're being protected from and what we're being guided to. So go with the flow and try different things. Don't just be stuck rigid and, and small-minded. No, you have to be open-minded. You have to be open to possibilities. I can go way more into detail about different associate degrees that you can take. And there's so many degrees you could do in the medical field for only two years. That's not being a nurse or a doctor. No, there's so many other options out there that you can try out and you could be set after just two years and have your degree. And it doesn't only have to be the medical field. There's so many other associate degrees that you can get for men and women. Okay, I don't want the men to feel left out. College is a great opportunity to escape, but please, I repeat, please do not, do not go to college just to please other people. It's an option, but it is not your only option. School is not meant for everybody. And just because your parents, your family, your friends, society may push that on to you, it does not mean you have to go through with it. If you know your path, you know there's something else you want to do, but it, it doesn't require college. It's something else and you need to go on a different path. You take that path because at the end of the day, your parents, your friends, society, whoever is talking in your ear, they're not going to be the one paying the money for that. They're not going to be the one sitting in the classes suffering and being so unhappy because you didn't do what you wanted. You just did that to please others. They're not going to be the one suffering through school. And then when you do get your degree and you do get your, your job, they're not going to be the one working for you when you're working a job that you hate. But hey, you're making good money. And hey, you got a degree. No, there's more to life than a degree. There's more to life than making money. You can make money doing what you love. That's why you gotta work on your mindset. You have to tell yourself, I can make so much money sustaining myself, having financial freedom, doing what I love. I do not have to succumb to society's view of what they feel is best. It's not a one size fits all. Everyone has different paths. So if college isn't for you, do not let anybody force you to go. You don't have to go. It's not your only option. There's plenty of alternatives that you can choose from and you can still get an education. You can still have money in your bank account and you don't need a degree. Don't ever let your degree define your worth as a person. Please don't get me wrong. I'm not downplaying anyone who goes to college, anyone who has a degree. That's great. I'm so proud of you. I'm just saying this for others who feel pressure to go to college. College should be a choice. College should be a choice. Yes, it's great. It's a privilege. It's an opportunity. Not many people have the opportunity. It is, but it's not meant for everybody. So don't ever feel forced to go just because other people think that you should go. And if you need some time to think about what it is you want to do with your life take that time take a gap year if you need to if you don't want to take that long take a gap semester and just take time focusing on you and doing things that you love and trying out different stuff volunteering different places figure out what it is you want to do you can take a gap year to discover more about yourself learn more about yourself and who you are what you love to do and what you don't love to do learn who you are what you want travel 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 maybe you don't need to move out right now maybe you need to save up some money and you need to go travel okay go travel <laughs> even if it's like two weeks in mexico two weeks in whatever go to europe like take chances take risks i'm not telling you to don't be safe okay be safe out here in these streets because anything can happen but this is the only life you got this is the only life you physically know about that you are existing right now this is the only time you will ever have to do what it is you want don't ever take your youth for granted even if you're not as young as whatever it doesn't matter don't take your age for granted there's so many people that are six feet under that wish they could have the life that 
you have. Don't ever take your opportunity and your privilege for granted. You are privileged. You have opportunity. You are blessed. You deserve the world. So start acting like it. Don't rush into something and waste all your money, all your time, all your energy, your happiness, get depressed just to please others, just to quiet the voices. Because guess what? When their voices are quiet, it's never really quiet. They're going to find something else to talk about. And then their voices are going to become your self-doubt. Yeah, it's going to become you. You're going to start to internalize what they say. Don't do that. Invest in your time. Invest in your money. Invest in your energy. Invest in your future. You're the only one who's going to do that for you. Invest into what you're really passionate about. If you don't know what it is you want to do with your life, that is okay. Do what you love. What is it that you love to do? What is it that brought you so much joy that you love to do when you were a child? Let's move on to the next one. My third option is to travel abroad. Yes, you can. You can travel abroad. Yes, you can. Before I go any further, I want to stress the importance of having an open mind. Allow yourself to explore opportunities you may not have even considered in your life because you never thought it was possible. But it is. You just need to stop limiting yourself. The sky isn't the limit. Your mind is. Your mind is what limits you. So you need to make sure to have an open mind so you can be free. Anything is possible and you can do anything that you put your mind to. Maybe you and a friend are in a similar situation, right? How about y'all travel abroad together? How about y'all travel? How about y'all take a trip? How about y'all save up? Well, you may say, oh, I don't have the money. How about you start saving from no. now? And you look at the deals that you could get and you start looking at different hotels you can stay at or maybe stay at a hostel. Or maybe you can connect with like-minded people that's in the same area. Find them in Facebook groups. Of course, be safe. So many other people just like you in the same exact situation as you that is looking for something just like you. Realize that you are rare, but there's so many people that are in the same situation situation as you in a similar situation that's just looking for a way out that just wants change that's scared too okay you are not alone in this and if you can't find nobody to travel with you solo travel is it scary hell yeah yes it is it's a life-changing experience everything is scary when you first try it but solo travel is worth it you grow you learn more about yourself you could be at level five right now and you get to level 50 solo travel will change your whole entire world i'm so serious you will level up so quick because you're growing and you're learning so much about yourself. It forces you to face your demons, to face yourself, to really look at yourself for who you are, to take accountability, to change your life, and to be inspired and to be humble, to humble yourself. There's more than your hometown. There's more to life to explore than that same grocery store, than that same gas station you always go into. There's so much more than those same friends that you put up with that you really don't feel is your friends, but they've been your friends forever, so there's so much life to experience so many people to connect with that you haven't even met yet you don't even know exists there's so many people out there you're gonna create lasting connections with but you have to start they're not gonna meet you here you gotta go you gotta find each other even if it's not someone you're gonna meet it's an experience you're gonna have that's going to change your life even if you don't travel and if it's just moving an hour away from your hometown four hours away from your hometown moving out of state do it america isn't everything especially when you lived in the states your whole entire life you will constantly be on that hamster wheel i'm not downplaying america but there's just this energy this american energy energy that is just so stressful and anxiety and just social media just everything about it take a trip take a trip and i'm not saying that like it's easy to oh i got the money to just book a trip no look plan look on google flights there's so many flights out there if you're just looking you can find a good deal okay get a plane ticket say all right the plane ticket is gonna be two hundred dollars three hundred dollars depending on where you go maybe it's a little bit more if i save fifty dollars each week then i'll get there in three months okay now i need to just plan my hotel now i need to just plan this what are the steps to travel i need a plane ticket i need to get a hotel i need to find a place to stay i need accommodation okay book the flight book the hotel book the transfer and leave you're in your head get out of of your head stop being so scared of living life and get out there it's okay to be scared but feel the fear and do it anyway don't let fear stop you fear is just telling you hey hey there's some good stuff over there but you gotta get past me don't be fearful be excited like fear is just excitement be excited be excited about exploring life traveling to so many other places like europe especially europe latin america and so many other places helps open your mind to possibilities and experiences you couldn't have ever imagined you may say what 
Travel abroad, girl, are you crazy? You may say, I have no money, I have no support, and I have nobody to go with me. Those three things can all be provided by you. No money, make some money. No support, be your own support system. Nobody to go with you, be your own best friend. And I'm not saying that this is easy, none of this is easy. Don't think I'm just saying like, oh, go make some money, like it's that easy. It's not that easy, but it's not impossible. Put the effort in, look for jobs, look for side hustles. You will never see change if you don't change yourself and you don't change your actions. If you're doing the same exact thing you've been doing these past couple months, these past couple years, you're gonna see the same thing and then what, complain about it? No, do something different. Change, do something different. There's so many programs out there where you can work at a hostel in exchange for food and accommodation and you can travel for free 99. For free. You can get a scholarship and you can study abroad. These programs allows you to have an amazing cultural experience, meet new friends, meet like-minded people, have the opportunity to give back to the world, volunteer, learn more about people, learn about cultures. Your mindset will change. You'll, you're just gonna, you're, you're gonna love it. I promise you. This is honestly a whole video on its own. And if you want, I can go more into detail about the programs that are available for anyone out there that wants to travel for free. I actually did it before and it was free 99, okay? Free 99. It's amazing. I recommend anyone to do it. Get out there. If money's your issue, you can literally work at a hostel, get free food, get free accommodation. The only thing you gotta worry about is you buying little things here and there and probably transportation. So if you wanna hear more on that, let me know in the comment section below. So those are my three options for today. I do have some more. If you guys want a part two of this, let me know. Move out, go to college, travel abroad. Look at your colleges, look at your universities, see if there's any scholarship opportunities opportunities can I do a three month in Mexico can I do a three month in Morocco can I do a three month in Amsterdam can I go to school for its entirety in Spain it's out there you need to be the one to take yourself to that website the website isn't gonna just pop up you have to be the one to say okay where can I travel abroad da -da -da -da. Google is free Google is free Google is free 99 Google is free okay so thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys watching to the very end. And I hope you guys have a beautiful, uh, I hope you guys have a day as beautiful as you. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.